Dear listeners, I guess you all know what is a PIMO and what is the rule of PIMO in corporation. But what I want to share with you today is my experience as an agile PIMO with empathic leadership. That's my presentation will describe. Before that, I would like to give you a brief about the OCP group. Our company is the leading producer of phosphate and fertilizer, serving customers around the globe, building on nearly 100 years of agriculture and industrial knowledge and expertise. OCP is committed to being a global responsible company, helping to drive sustainable solutions to feed a growing world population. The three strategic pillars of our company are cost and capacity leadership, innovation, and farmer intimacy. OCP is one of the lowest cost producers of phosphate rock in the industry and has become a leading player in production and trade volumes across the phosphate value chain. OCP contributes to regional development throughout its mining and fertilizer operations and throughout its sustainable program. OCP started as a mining company. After that, the business model of the company changed and uh, OCP becomes also a chemical company. From 2016, uh, we have launched an uh, industry program to develop the fertilizers industry. In 2008, we launched the capital expenditures program. In 2010, we, we had open, opened a Buenos Aires representative office and also in Sao Paulo and other locations. In 2011, we created a GV with Jacobs Engineering. And we also, in 2013, we created GV with Dupont and Hernicher. In 2016, we launched OCP Africa as subsidiaries. The PMO started at OCP Group in 2006 with the industrial program that aims to put OCP in leadership position by tripling the industrial capacity. After two years of feasibility study, the first structure of the PMO was established in project control format. And in 2010, the PMO positions are introduced in OCP group. After that, in 2011, a task force was created and mandated to set up a PMO management standard. After four years, the PMO position and faction becomes a standard faction in OCP Group. In 2016, our CEO launched a new transformation program aimed at releasing the energy of employees and creating a new S curve for the development. Once again, the PMO is brought to transform itself with this new dynamic. The standard that currently exists for the majority of PMO position is one 
that was built in 2011. A roadmap was defined to ensure that our way to do the PMO activities is in line with the best practice. In this context, a benchmark study was conducted in order to be inspired. The standard was built with the contribution of more than 2,050 people spread over several working groups. Several references were established according to the function industrial, information system, human resources, etc. And also according to the risk study and the project management phrases. Several working documents have been established as a dashboard, RACI matrix, project charter, an internal platform was developed to support the PMO activities. This platform allowed decision making, capitalizing by sharing document, autom automatization of the, some operations, and risk management by ranking the risks. There are several positions at OCP Group of PMO. We find the PMO in Digital Office, media group and subsidiaries and OCP foundations and strategy and corporate development, human capital and also in the industrial sites. And the PMO structure depends on the PMO mission and scope. A PMO structure can be an entity who is only the collaborator is the PMO itself, or it can be a department with the head of this department is the PMO and he has a team, and we can find uh, other structure uh, the, of PMO, like a direction leading by the PMO and with several collaborators. There are several rules of the PMO at OCP Group. These rules can be monitoring and controlling project progress, project performance indicator. It can be developing and executing risk management process, project financial performance. It can be digitalization by uh, be, uh, having a real-time data and accessible report, by implementing processes procedures, dashboard, checklist, by consolidating and reporting decision information. In other ways, the PMO can be only support, so he facilitates the work. The PMO can be a responsible of execution of the action, and the PMO can be accountable on project progress. Uh, currently, there are around 50 PMOs within the group. Let me now to give you an overview of my role and function. I report directly to the executive vice president and my mission consists on creating an agile and collaborative environment, enhancing decision making, sharing learning insights and facilitating innovation and value creation in your project, supporting project manager, managing compliance and accountability, and consolidating a view and key information in one place. How the story began. The strategy and corporate development was created in December 2014. In May 2015, the PMO position was created. And in September 2015, I joined the Africa operation that was an entity in the strategy and corporate development as PMO. One year after, I became 
PIMO of Strategy and Corporate Development. In order to, to give you an idea about the scope, let me share with you some uh, data. We, we are managing about 40 uh, projects per year and uh, we organize about 20 uh, meetings per week and we have four stand-up meetings per, uh, per week and we are 35 collaborators in strategy and corporate development. The services I provide is articulate about finding a new solutions using the collective intelligence, implement these solutions and capitalize on the results. Also, I give guidance. I provide the guidance to ensure the achievement of the strategic quality goals and I forest constructive interaction, interactions and experience within the member of the company. How am I an agile PIMO? By reassessment of priorities, by managing an interfaces with entities, by tracking fine grained metrics, and replanning repl frequently regarding the change and the priority. I asked my colleague to give me their feedback about my contribution. One of them told me that I am an empathic person. Seriously? I sent them a questionnaire to compare the situation before and after joining the post and position. And the results are very encouraging. People agreed that I create a dynamic network and I give a lot of support for all project managers. I provide also guidelines useful for people and I also clarify the rules and disciplines and I encourage the creativity. So the results are very encouraging. Let me now share with you some tools that I developed. I developed contracts and the guidelines, meeting schedule that explain the rules for uh, scheduling the meeting, the templates like case decisions, brief note, fees templates, expenses template. I set up a tools for fusion management and also as a priority matrix. The next challenge for me will be to develop how to create a real collective intelligence and how and make people respect the rules for prioritizing their activities or project. And also, I would like to work on stimulate the uh, a creative environment and make people more accountable for their project. Thank you for listening and goodbye.